So as I said, so we need the API keys from uh, Stripe. So use, uh, please use uh, your own because once I uh, end or once the course is ended, so I will remove uh, this case. Okay, so use uh, your own. So let's uh, move. Uh, so we need to move to our order controller so controllers order controller so we need to do the same thing so first we need to get the card so you need to do the same thing like we have done here let's move to the top so we need to define so we need to define the same property with the, the constructor so first we get the card and next we need to add the mother uh, function so this function will pay order or orders by stripe stripe so let's add function public function and name it uh, pay order by stripe so let's add uh, the content and i will uh, copy and paste uh, the content and i will explain everything uh, so you can get uh, the code from uh, source code uh, in description of uh, this video so what we have here so we have uh, stripe uh, and here we provide uh, stripe uh, secret key so you need to provide uh, your stripe secret key here and here we create a checkout session and we define uh, the currency so here you can name it anything you want so here i have fashion store you can make it laravel uh, 12 uh, shopping cart uh, so for the name uh, and here we have the amount to pay so we'll use function that will calculate this amount so here we, we give it uh, the cart items uh, and here once the payment is done successfully we will return the user to, an, uh, to a route not array route which is order dot success so we'll create it later and we send session id and here we need the checkout session id so we need session id to prevent the user from accessing this route which is the order success so he can access it only if he paid his orders okay and please use the same as we have here so the curly braces and check out session id uppercase okay so don't use anything else other than what you are see seeing here okay and finally we redirect the user to the checkout session and here url and here we need to import the exception so if we have any error so we log the so we log the error so to not so we don't need to display the error to our users and here if we have any error we return back the user with an error telling him that something went, went wrong with the payment please try again okay and for the stripe and session so we need to install a package so we can use them okay so this package let's say uh, we need to use composer require and package is stripe dash or slash stripe dash php okay so stripe slash stripe dash php and hit enter and once or uh, let's do something so while it's installing because it will take uh, time so let's uh, do something let's add this function that we are using here that will calculate total to pay so here calculate calculates the total to pay and let's add the function let's make it private uh, function so the name is calculate total to pay so here we will receive uh, the array that contains the items and first we define the total let's give it zero which is variable let's give it zero so next we need to loop uh, through each uh, items uh, and get the item 
and finally what we need to do so we need to add total and we add to the total the item quantity multiplied by the item so multiplied by so let's copy from here and paste here and change it to price so quantity multiplied by the price and don't forget to apply the plus sign here so we are adding to the total each time we find the an item so we calculate the quantity multiplied by the price and we add it okay and finally we return uh, the total and the total will be multiplied by 100 because stripe uh, divides uh, the amount by 100 okay so let's check and see if it is installed so not yet so it's generating the auto loading uh, file so next we need the, the route so which is uh, so now i think we can import st stripe okay so it's already here and also the session so the session from stripe checkout session okay so you need to import stripe and stripe checkout session okay so let's uh, bring uh, so let's also as i said so copy the secret key from here and we need to paste it here inside set api okay and we are done so what left so we need to add this route first we need to add the function and the route okay so before uh, we add the success paid function so we need to do something so we need to do a little change so here so when we get the checkout sessions so we need to change the way we get session id so we'll so let's do something so we need to remove the so we need to remove array and use a concatenation here and we need to concatenate our route with session id and session id will be equal to session or the checkout session id so we need to remove single quotes from here also let's remove the space and also we need here to remove uh, the array and keep uh, the single code so let's go back again so here we need to remove this and keep uh, the comma okay so just change it because uh, i tested the so it did not work with the code that uh, we have done uh, before which is array so use it like this so the route order dot success and we concatenate the routes with session id using the question mark and we give it a checkout session id okay which is the same uh, name that we have done before okay so now let's go back down and add our function which is uh, success uh, paid function so what will this uh, function do so it will uh, store uh, not store but it will display success page so let's add here public uh, function let's name it so uh, instead of uh, success let's name it success paid and what else we need here so we need uh, first to get a session id because the user we need to prevent him from accessing this route if he did not pay his orders okay so to do that we need to get a session id using the request to get and we get a session id that we have added here this one okay so we can get it using the request get so now we have that session id so we need to check uh, if uh, if uh, no session id provided if we don't have session id which means that the user tries to access this route without paying his orders so we will redirect him to the home page okay so if no session 
ID. So in this case, as I said, we will. So let's see here. We will return our direct. Uh, so we don't have here. Okay, we can get uh, this one and change it to uh, return or direct or return to a route which is the route that we have so i think we have a route which is the home let's go to the web dot which is this one okay so we can now redirect him to the home page okay if he tries to access this route without providing the session id now now if we have the session id what we need to do so we will use try and catch so let's uh, use try and catch so here we have try and catch so first we need to do something we need the, to get the session and to get session so we need to use the same thing that we have done here using session which is this class we can call another method which is the retrieve okay so where is it so here we have session and we call the retrieve method retrieve and this method uh, what will do it will get session id using the provided session id okay so now we have session id and what we need to do so now we need to forget uh, the card so like we have uh, so is it so we did not do that here let's move to our cards controller so like we have done here so let's copy from here and uh, paste here so now we have session id so we need to forget the cards and for guest card total items uh, and we need to return here so here we will not return or direct the user but we will return a view that will create soon which is success paid and we don't need anything else okay so we will only return view and if we have any error so we will display it let's uh, do something let's move uh, to our so here inside our home page so once we pay the or once the payment is done successfully so we will be redirected to the route which is success paid or success payments and we will have session id which is this one okay and session id will be a code like we have here okay so the user my or the user or or always don't trust the user so the user can change the session id from here and hit enter okay so we need also to check for this uh, uh, condition if the user tries to change session id so we need to get this and if he tries to do that so we need to return and redirect him to the home page okay so to do that uh, so stripe has an invalid invalid request exception class okay so you can get it from stripe just stripe uh, exception and so we don't need to get it from the OAuth, but just from Stripe exception and invalid request exception. So this is the path. Okay. So once you have it here, so we will not use the so we will not use the exception here. We can change it to exception, but we will return and redirect the user to the home page. Okay. So if the user, as I told you, so tries uh, to access or to change uh, session ID from here. So now we have uh, done with success uh, paid uh, function. So what is next? So next we need to add the, the routes because we did not add the routes. So let's copy and paste here. So we have two routes. But before we do that, I just remember something. Uh, so here we are using set API key method 
for uh, the session and also here when uh, we retrieve the session ID so we need to do the same thing so to avoid uh, repeating the same code uh, so let's use it inside the constructor so here inside the constructor so we call stripe set api key okay and every time we call our order controller so the set api key uh, method will be called okay so instead of using it here inside pay order by stripe and also inside success paid so let's now add the route so as i said we have uh, two routes one for paying orders and one uh, for the success paid page so let's change it here to get uh, and change uh, the path uh, to order uh, order pay and controller is uh, order controller and don't forget to import it uh, so what is the name let's go what is the name of the method that we have added here so pay order by stripe so let's copy and paste it here and change the name so name here is order dot pay and we need another one this one will display its success uh, message or success uh, or will redirect us to the success page let's call it also success pay and what is the name so let's move down so we have success paid okay let's change it here to success paid and we can name also the order dot success we can name the route to order dot success and we are done now we have two routes okay so let's go so what is next so next uh, let's do something let's add the route here inside the proceed to the payment so we need to add the route that we have defined which is order dot pay okay so let's do something let's uh, refresh the page and see if we will uh, uh, be redirected to the stripe checkout form or not uh, so if we hit uh, proceed to payment uh, button so as you can see we are redirected to the stripe checkout uh, form so now we can pay our orders and we have here 21 dollars so let's add uh, an email add test uh, card so let's add here text the test not the text test card and also we need date security code and full name so let's add name and let's pay now so now the payment is done successfully so we will be redirected to the page so the page doesn't exist so you will get an error telling us that the view doesn't exist which is the view that we have uh, defined inside our inside our uh, controller here but the payment is done uh, successfully so we need now to create a success paid page okay so as i told you so we are redirected so here we have success pay and we have session id okay and this is uh, session id and now we need the success paid page so as i told you if the user tries to change here session id and he tries to refresh the page with uh, another session ID. So we need to redirect him to the home page. And uh, as you can see, I am redirected the, to the home page, which means uh, that uh, the code that we have added here is working. Okay. So now we need to add success page. Uh, so let's do that now. Uh, 